Evening, Emily. I'm sorry. Do I know you? You're bored with life. What's your name? I can change that. What do you mean? Who are you? I know you, Emily. I know you like nobody else, so just drop the facade already. Life's just a game. One big game. But some people play a little bit better than others. But what if you could change the rules? Reality isn't constant. I know everything about you, from the time you were born to now. Every little thought that's been whizzing through your head. You unconsciously know that you can't hide anything from me. So why try to put on a show? No, you're lying. Am I? Emily, age seven, loses her self-confidence to a learning disorder known as dyslexia. She transfers to a school for mentally insane, all thanks to her overprotective mother. But I mean, I guess it did you some good. You're here, after all. Oh well. But is that any way to actually thank your mother? Flushing your wedding ring down the toilet? It's kinda harsh, Emily. How do you know all this? Life is just numbers and figures. Yeses and noes, do's and don'ts. And to me, people are like books. They're just there to be read. That guy? That's Jonathan Copperfield. I don't think you ever figure out that he's not as smart as he thinks he is. Poor boy thinks he's gonna be a doctor. But he found someone, a girl. Good for him. Unfortunately, she's cheating on him. You can never trust those sorority types. Always so fake. Kinda of boring if you ask me. You're creepy. Thank you. So, why don't we play a game of truth? Or dare. Why don't you go destroy the world on your own? Uh, I can't. Not unless someone asks me to. They always gotta keep things in balance. Who? Well, you know, people. Or not really. You wouldn't understand. I understand people. They're unpredictable and wonderful and the worst thing that could have happened to this world. Does that make sense? Kinda. No, I, I suppose not. You're not born with moral code. There is no right and wrong. It's not like there's stories. Humans are unpredictable, unreliable, and we shouldn't trust anyone. No one cares. No one ever cares. What's the point of caring about someone if they're just gonna drop you like that? After all we've been through together. After I trusted him. I want to be in my own perfect reality. Where there's true love and valor. And no one has the ability to be fake. Where people live by right and wrong, always. I want there to be fate and meaning. I want to be happy. So, you want to live in a reality that's a fantasy? Yes, yes I do. Okay. Your wish is my command. Is that it? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yep, that's it. You were BSing me this entire time. Screw you! I actually believe you! <sighs> Emily, really? Well, nothing happened. Did it? So I brought you to your perfect world. Where are we? We? 